السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to our episode, our explanation of the hadith إنما الأعمال بالنيات وإنما لكل امرئ ما نوى فمن كان حجرته لله ورسوله فهجرته لله ورسوله We talked about the hijra and we said that in Medina there were three tribes of uh, uh, Jews who were uh, had, had a coalition with Rasulullah which later they broke the agreements that they had with Muslims. This, uh, these three tribes were Banu Qaynuqa, Banu Nadir and Banu Quraidha. Banu Qaynuqa, Banu Nadir and Banu Quraidha. We will explain about these three tribes in uh, later days when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us life and strength. We come back to our hadith. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used hijrah in this hadith because the hijrah was the hugest and the biggest event which was also the beginning of our calendar of Islam. Umar ibn Khattab, he is the one who established or who pioneered in this calendar hijri, the hijrah calendar that we are using today. He asked for advice from the Sahabas how will their, the year of Islam will start. There was a lot of um, uh, ideas which were brought forward, opinions were brought forward, and Omar radiallahu anhu, he settled on using the first day of our Islamic calendar to be the first day of the Hijrah. So the Hijr, the calendar that we have is called the Hijrah calendar. It's the beginning of our Islamic month. So, وَإِنَّمَا لِكُلِّ مْرِئٍ مَا نَوَى فَمَنْ كَانَ حِجْرَتُهُ لِلَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ فَهِجْرَتُهُ لِلَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever's immigration was for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his immigration is for the sake of Allah and Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa so whoever left Medina with any other intention is not going to get the reward of the Hijrah with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We know that Hijrah was an ibadah. We saw, we saw it was wajib in the beginning of Islam. It was obligatory for people to immigrate from Mecca to Medina. So there was reward for leaving from Mecca to Medina, from leaving from Mecca to Medina. It was rewarded. So, but if somebody left with any other intention, not the intention of immigrating from Mecca to Medina to go and have a place where they could worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with ease, he's going to be or she's going to be rewarded according to that intention that he was having. There was, there is no um, any um, um, rewire or any other opinion I have uh, seen that says that there were people who left Mecca to Medina to go and get married, to go and do business and the rest, but it is written in some other, we do hear in some other explanations, but there was no hadith which explains that there were people who left Mecca to go and meet women in Medina so that they can marry them or to go for business or for any other opinion. But it can be understood from the hadith that maybe there were some people who left with a different intention. So but Rasulullah وسلم, we know the Sahaba left with Rasulullah وسلم, or those who left before Rasulullah وسلم, their intention was the Hijrah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the hijrah for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, is the hijrah existing? Does immigration exist in our deen? Can people decide to live from one town to another, from one city to another, from one country to another, from one house to another? Does the hijrah exist? There is a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, la hijrah ba'd al fatah there is no hijrah after the conquest of Mecca. How can this hadith be explained? And then we have another hadith that people can immigrate for 
the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, but there is no justification right now that someone can leave from this country. For example, we are in Europe. We say we are going to leave and go to another place, maybe in Arabia or in Arab world, so that we can go and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with ease. In Europe, there is freedom of worship. Their mosques are in plenty. Places are in plenty of worship. There is no reason for people to start immigrating from Europe or from England or from America to another place. Where you are, there is a freedom of worship. We have places of worship in the hospitals, in the airports, in the schools, in the other establishment. There are multi faith areas where people can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These places which have been kept for multi-faith purpose or multi-faith hall, it's for everyone to go and worship there. And the time that Muslims are given, we know these places are being used entirely by Muslims and other religions are not using these places a lot. These places have been kept for us to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The mosques are in plenty. So there is no need of um, um, uprising that people need to leave go from here to Saudi or lay they go to Syria we know the problems are in these countries to go in Egypt so the the Arab world has got more problems there is no even tranquility than in Europe or in Africa we have today and you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to minimize these problems that our brother Muslims in Arab world are facing in Africa and in our in entire uh, areas in the world. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ease their problems, to stop these fights and this fitna that is happening within our Muslims. But my point here is that there is no need of a hijrah now because whenever you go, who is going to remain there? to make da'wah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because a da'wah, your presence itself is a da'wah without saying anything. Insha'Allah ta'ala, we are going to continue after this. Wajazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.